Hey guys, 70 Humber Humbler here. Yeah. This horse keeps sniffing my camera. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Hey guys, uh, I just want to do a little video for my friend Jay from Hot Chicks Cold Toy Review. I got a couple of 1 6 scale horses and uh, just kind of wanted to show them to you and see what they look like. Um, and see what size they are. I mean, they're really good 1 6 scale horses. As you can see, that one's hooked to a wagon, which I think is called either a flat board or a buck board. It's because it's just a small little wagon. As you can see, I've got my G.I. Joe guy sitting on it. He fits on there real good. And the wheels roll and it steers. Now this horse here has no articulation whatsoever, but he does have wheels on the bottom of his hooves. So he can roll. <laughs> it's kind of funny, I know, but... And I got this in a trade, and some of the parts were handmade, you know, uh, the guy that had it just, uh, he kind of had made some parts that he didn't have, so that's what the wooden parts are, things that he added, which I think works pretty well. Right, and this one here looks like it's had a custom paint job on it, and it looks, well, it looks pretty good, I think. And that's, uh, of course, that's my, my G.I. Joe. It's my post-apocalyptic uh, G.I. Joe guy. That's why he has the uh, gas mask on and the overcoat. He looks a little, doesn't look exactly, you'd think you'd have a cowboy or something on one of these. But in my mind, if we're in a post-apocalyptic world and, you know, with resources like gasoline and electricity are scarce, then you're going to go back to the old style of getting around, which would be on horses or wagons. Now I've got the other horse here, and I have a, a 1 6 scale figure set on that, another post apocalyptic figure. It's actually a female figure I custom put together. And this horse has a head and neck articulation. Now the neck is really, really loose. I, I need to tighten it up, and it, actually, this horse needs a, another paint job. As you can see, he's got big blue eyes and they just look kind of weird so I'm going to try to do another paint job on this horse and uh, somehow figure out how to tighten up the neck the only way to keep the head up is to turn it as if I turn it this way it's wanting to it wants to drop down so as you can see the head goes up and down and you can look look around side to side his head actually goes up and down so I thought it'd be really good for some animation. You know, if the horse is like standing next to you and their head, you know, they're always, their heads are moving around and nudging you and things like that. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. And this horse also has wheels on the bottom of the hooves. Now, let me just take this off here for a second. And the horse has a saddle, the saddle bags. And I'm not sure if it's what come with the horse. I mean, it's what come with the horse when I got it, but uh, a saddlebags that actually open. It's pretty cool. And I don't know if you can see this or probably can't see it, but it's uh, I'm trying to read it myself. Let me get up to the light here. It's from a company, and it looks like it looks like it says Lewis Mark and Company made in USA so that's the company that makes the horse and it's a these are older these are older figures so these aren't you know something that's new that you can just go buy uh, I ran across these in a little uh, hobby shop guy sells uh, uh, vintage GI Joes and things like that so and I just kind of fell in love with them and so I kind of add these horses to my vehicle collection because this is how people used to get around and it's kind of cool you know you're gonna look around now this way he won't hold his head up but if I turn it the other way I think he'll hold his head up so you don't look at the camera right now <laughs> and you got a little rifle holder there 
But Lewis Mark and Company must I guess it was an old company. I don't know if it's still around. That's what who made both of these horses. And uh yeah, I think they're they're real good scale. The one, one six scale. Now the wagon, I have no idea who makes that. I've looked all over it. I can't find any markings whatsoever. It may be from G.I. Joe. I'm not sure. Um so but that's how it's put together. It's got the little rods with the little uh, pieces that hold the, wheel, the wheels on. And I'm, I do plan on painting the wheels to look wooden and the outside rim as a, like a rusty metal. And I do want to paint the uh, wagon also to make it look more wooden looking. To give it a more realistic look. And this is for a future project that I have in mind. Uh, and you know whenever I get time to make it so anyway I uh, hope uh, you enjoy this video and hope you enjoy seeing these horses and uh, if anyone is interested just look try to I guess Google Lewis Marking Company or 1-6 horse and see if you can find some of these too because actually the guy that I bought these from or traded with uh, I don't think he has any he might have some if anybody's interested, I can uh, give them his uh, eBay uh, seller code. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.